game, we talking about deflections, man. Not a game. Deflections? Not a, not a, not the game that I not the not not, not the top ten defense down. for the past three years. You know, game, not the team with the, the with the game. defensive former defensive practice, MVP man. of the league. I mean, you know, when we talking about practice. I know practice, man. Deflections, man. Practice. Deflections? We talking about practice, man. <laughs> we talking, we talking about deflections, practice, man. We talking about deflections? We're talking about the game. We talking about practice, man. Deflections, man. Deflections? Game, actual game when it matters. We talking about practice. Not the not not the top 10 defense for the past 3 years, you know. Not the team with the with the defensive former defensive MVP of the league, you know. You know practicing. What's up everybody? It's your boy Mr. Team Money 1993. Back with another video, man. And I ain't got time, bro. RCP, you really trying to talk about defense? And you bringing up deflections? That's your Google that you going for, man? That's why we can't take some long this, like, this is for anybody in the TTC. Why we don't get a real Bucks Panthers hate week. Because this is the type of football talk this motherfucker want to do. Man, you really want to talk about safeties. Chris Conti, I have heard you say on your other channel, sucks. You admitted it. So, why are you trying to argue that? Then you bring up Thomas Deku for us, who isn't even on the roster. This is why I hate trying to talk football with you. Because you don't know. You don't research. You don't check up. You just talk. Our free safety is Trey Boston now. Who started at the end of last year. You can ask Atlanta about it. Now, our other safety, Roman Harper, is what it is, man. And our defense, you know Rome's been in the league for a long time, set his career high in interceptions as a Panther. So what you want to say about that? Our corners, yeah, Josh Norman, shut down. Ask Mike Evans, two catches, 13 yards, shut down. You want to talk about Charles Tillman? He's going in the Hall of Fame. Ask Lovey about him. Lovey love him from Charles Tillman. Benet Ben Wilkery, who you couldn't say, who I've been talking about since we drafted the boy, is a nice ass corner. Definitely a beast at nickel. Even we played him at number two towards the end of last year, and he was still balling out. You can ask New Orleans. One hand pick on Drew Brees. But you don't know because you don't be researching. Melvin White, they talking about he's slimmed down this year. He's going to be back to what he normally is. Gary Peters, who we signed as an undrafted free agent. Yeah, the man hasn't given up a touchdown in two years at Clemson. That's a top five defense. So I don't want to hear no talks about our secondary. Our secondary is on point. And we still got Carrington Bynum out of Texas. Shout out to him. Linebackers, I don't want to hear that fuckboy shit, bro. I don't want to hear that. You know, ain't no way in hell your linebacking core is on our level at all. Luke Kuechly's better than any linebacker you got on your roster. Period. He's a defensive MVP of the NFL. What are you talking about? Thomas Davis? 100 tackles every year he's healthy. Come on now. Don't act like you don't know. That's Thomas Davis. Man of the year, Thomas Davis. And then added Shaq this year? How was how was it possible? You can talk about deflections. I want to hear talent wise how you think your linebacking core is better now. Bruce Carter, an often injured Dallas Cowboys player. Is that how? Um, I mean, what else? Uh, uh, Le Levante is good, but Levante, I mean, like I said, he's not better than any of the boys we got over there. Do you want to talk about? Uh, who's who's the other one? Lansana? Really? Am I the t I'm supposed to take that serious? I'm supposed to take that serious. Nah, bro, you know better. You know better. Defensive line, we not got. This is different. In cover two, you have to get that out of your defensive line, or your whole defense is gonna fail. Yes, Charles Johnson led us in sacks with eight. That's with him taking games off from. That's with him being injured. That's with him dealing with his losing his grandma. Rest in peace to her. It is what it is. He's still better than any edge. 
Russia you got on your team. Fuck a John Queen Smith. You want to talk about you got an old boy from the Lions with six sacks off the off the hood and he didn't start. Well, we got the same thing. Mario Addison. But you don't do your research. You don't know about my team. Mario Addison had six, six and a half sacks as a backup defensive end. Coney Ealy, we getting him right. He already came on at the end of the last year with four sacks. We still got Frank Alexander coming back this year. We still got Wes Horton. We deep. That's what separates our defense from everybody else. Defensive tackles, Star Latulale, one of the best in the league. Kawan Short, one of the most uprising, upstart, coming up, whatever you want, however you want to say it, defensive tackles in the league, he balls out. DeWine Edwards, Colin Cole. I can go on and on with my defensive line, bro. And they all talented. They not just plug and play. They not we trying to see if they can do what the job we want them to do. Nah, they do it. So I want to hear how you think your defense is better. Really. Offensively, you starting a rookie left tackle. And it was funny is when you say the whole, well, he can't be any worse than uh, Collins. But when we say that about Michael Orr, y'all got shit to say. You telling me Michael Orr is not going to be better than Byron Bell? Byron Bell was the second worst left tackle in the league. The only worst left tackle is Jake Matthews in Atlanta. So yes, Michael Orr is an upgrade. Jonathan Martin, y'all love bringing that up. Y'all love trying to take that shot. Jonathan Martin, I'm tired of telling y'all that it's not going to start. We signed the tackle, Daryl Williams play right tackle him and Mike Rimmers is gonna compete for that job guards do you, you probably can't even name my guards but just for you I'll name him. Trey Turner who blocked Gerald McCoy one-on-one week one and took him out the game so I don't want to hear that about our line center Ryan Khalil he's been on NFL top 100 check him out you couldn't even name that in the hangout the other day that's why I don't like you talking about my team. My weapons? KB? You ever heard of him? Thousand yard receiver? Yeah. Him and Evans both balled out. Greg Greg Olson? As much as you want to hype up Austin Safiri and Jenkins and say he's a, he's what you say? He's the next Tony Gonzalez. He's not fucking with Greg Olson. Greg Olson's a top five all around tight end. Devin Funches? Y'all can say what y'all want about Funches and call him Funyuns and this and that. If you're telling me he can't put up better numbers than Jericho Cotri, kill yourself. Jericho Cotri had like 40-something catches for 500 yards, and I think he only had maybe one touchdown. And what's funny is the one touchdown he had all year was against y'all. So, I mean, what the fuck? You don't even know about your own team, bro. Like, don't try to talk about mine. My backfield is better than yours. So uh, we can just break it down like that. My quarterback's better than yours. My running back's better than yours. My tight end's better than yours. Offensive line, we got to see what y'all line's going to do. Y'all signing third third round picks to be starters from Harvard or whatever the fuck that school is because he blocked Danny Shelton when Danny Shelton is a lazy motherfucker in the first place. Wide right, receivers, we deeper, man. You got two receivers. Lewis Murphy, we don't count that motherfucker. We've been had him. We know how that is. Uh, Robert Heron, y'all already gave up on him. Kenny Bell, y'all hyping him up more as a blocker than as a damn receiver. Well, we can go, we can, this is, we can go deeper than that, bro. We can go KB. We can hit you with that Funches. We can hit you with Philly Brown. We can hit you with Ted Ginn. We got Jared Boykin. I mean, we can go down the list, bro. Like the receivers that started last year, Gerald Cotty might not even make the team this year. That's how much we improved. And what y'all fail to realize is we didn't lose nothing that we didn't want to lose. The only two people that's gone is, is Hardy, who we didn't want back, and D. Will, who we released. So miss me with all that. For real, for real. Miss me with all that. But anyway. When you figure out how your team better than mine, let me know, bro. This your boy, Mr. T-Money, and I'm out.